Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Lake MRI, and this is a 62-year-old female with uh, complaints of knee pain. She went snowboarding recently and fell, and on her MRI here, we see she has some problems in her tibia. This is the lateral tibial plateau. It should go straight across, but we can, it looks like a V here goes up, an inverted V, and then back down. So instead of being straight horizontal, we see a fragment here, a fracture that's pushed downward. And so she has a minimally impacted fracture there. On the opposite side, she has a little oblique fracture line coming across here. And on this midline view, we see she has one other thing, and that's really why we're doing the video, is because she has an ACL that comes down. This is the anterior cruciate ligament. It comes off the femur. This is the femur, by the way, this big thigh bone. The ACL comes off the back of the femur to the front of the tibia, and where it attaches to the tibia, there's a fracture fragment. It's a little bit hard to see, on this view because marrow is bright, fluid is bright here at the interface, and this bone fragment is bright, so it looks like it blends together, but if we put up another view here, we can see that the tibia down here is dark. There's a linear band of brightness here. This is fluid at the interface, and this is that fracture fragment that is distracted superiorly, and it remains attached to the ACL. So this is sort of an unusual case where instead of the ACL tearing, the ACL was strong and it held on, but the force is too great in it. Uh, pulled up a piece of bone from the tibial spine. And this is actually a better injury because they can just tack the piece of bone back down and they don't have to repair the ACL. And uh, we see this more often in pediatrics, so it's kind of rare to see it in an older person like this. Usually the anterior cruciate ligament will tear. Uh, this is a tear of the posterior horn of the medial meniscus as well. And this is the kneecap up front looking good. We see some fluid in the front of the knee joint. So that's it, a fracture of the tibial spine at the ACL attachment and the fracture fragments attached to the ACL and pulled upwards and the ACL is intact. Thank you very much.